Hello. I'm so excited about this haul. You all, I had so much fun. And it was so fantastic, all the things that I found. Just look, just look. Look at all of the things I found. Can you see? Oh, I got Jane Davenport. Oh, I got glit, um, embossing powders. Oh, refills, organizers, stamps. Oh, oh, I had such a great weekend. Oh, let me tell you about these Michael Halls I had. I mean, I Michaeled and Hobby Lobby. Ah, yes, I had so much fun. So, this is what happened. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get everything in one video. It depends on the time, and I may have to just do part of it with the items that I got. And then, as you see, I got some more Jane Davenport stuff. Oh, I was so excited. Everything I got. Oh, let me just tell you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is where I ended in a previous video where I did a Michaels haul. So... I, if you all remember, I was telling you that I thought I had bought an embossing pad with a refill, right? And I was like, well, they, I didn't get it. I thought I had put it in my buggy. I know I put it in my buggy, but I guess it fell out. So all the same. So I said, well, there's one on my side of town. You know, I have a Michaels over here close to my house. So I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there and get it. Well, I went there and I thought that was what I got. And it was like, no, it was not an embossing pad with a refill. It was a glue pad with a refill. And I was like, well, I thought it was embossing pad. But I said, well, I've gotten it. You know, okay, it's fine. I can use glue and put my stamps in that and, you know, put my glitter and all of that. And it'll be just fantastic. So it wasn't like a loss. But I happened to go back to the other one where I did go because I was looking for the Jane Davenport items that were said they were clearance, but they weren't. And a, one of the um, people there told a manager, like, can we unlock the sale? Because it's saying it's clearance. He was like, no, it's probably going to be restocked. Well, I know that this happened to me. I, like I said, I have four stores in my area. I'm in go to the trustful store. This store was the Bessemer store. I'm in Alabama. And then there's a Hoover store and there's a 280 store, which is still Hoover. But it's just in a different location of Hoover. So all the same, I had gone to the 280 store. And they had the Jane Davenport um, inks at one price. Incredible inks. And my store in trustful didn't have them on the sale so i was like okay so i went back um the next week and they did and so i went back this week and they had those jane davenports but i also found the embossing pad with the refill which you know i'm excited about that because i finally got a good glue gun well not the glue gun but i actually did a video where i finally found i'm trying to pull it out <laughs> but i got it plugged up in a drawer but my embossing gun so i got an embossing pad with the refill to go with the well with the recollections tinsel those are the ones i wanted to get the tinsel embossing powders and so this week i got a purple this one isn't tinsel it's called pearl embossing but then i have this opaque sparkle it's you know kind of tinselly like because the other ones that i had in the other video were tinsel like this one this is more of a blue um, I'm sorry, baby. I gotta put it back because it's like over here, like crying and moving. Like, well, it's not crying, but it's really moving. But you know, it's making noise. Like I've tried to pull it too hard to show it to you. But here we go. And I got this clear spark embossing powder. It says clear. Do you think it's clear? It doesn't look clear, right? But anyway, we're gonna try it because I'm so excited. I can't wait. And I got some more stuff that I got from Joanne, so I have to show you. But so just so you'll know, because I learned. There's one with glue, and there's one with embossing, clear ink. And they are both on sale for $3. So excited. I probably would have gotten them anyway because I wouldn't have known that they would have gone on sale. But I'm going to just, well, what I'm going to do is since I started with those, because I ended a video with those, I'm going to just start with those things. So I got my little receipts here, you know, to show you my little deals. So this was um a continuation. Remember I was showing you a... Uh, um, an organizer that I had gotten. I'm going to try to get to it so I can just refresh your memory. This organizer. Oh, and remember I showed you this? Well, when I went back to that store, I got it at the Bessemer store. They didn't have any more of those. So remember I told you that was $10 for this wood carving knife set. And so remember I showed you 
this organizer that I had bought. Um, I think I actually threw away the picture, but I actually went in later and put a lot of beads in it. And I put the bigger beads. You know, I was telling you I wanted something for the seed beads that I have. And I actually showed you these that just fell on the floor. Which I got a bunch of these. This is, you know, Hoblava tag. But I had gotten a bunch from Michaels too. So anyway, what I did was, as I said, I think I want something with a screw on top. Well, these were $3. And you probably find them cheaper at the dollar store. I've probably seen them at the dollar store. But they were there. They were $3.00. And I got nine. So, I know I have gotten some containers at the dollar store. You know, those ones with the magnets. I could go grab them. But I'm trying to get as many things seen in this video as possible. So, I won't be grabbing that. But just so you'll see, I got two of them. I got enough beads to really go into these. So, it's not like I was just being greedy. But they were there from last week. So, that meant that nobody else wanted them. I gave everybody a chance. Okay? So, don't say I'm selfish. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. So, those were $3 a piece. Now, you all know. So, I've been saying it in pretty much every video. Sorry about the shake shake on the camera. But I've been saying in every video how... I've been getting into calligraphy and the best mirror. Now I looked at I looked at mine at Trustful and I didn't see this. But at the best mirror location, because if I seen it at mine, I would have gotten them. I like to support the ones close to me because I don't want them to close and have to go across town because this one is, is really across town. But it's fine because I'm at one end of four fifty nine the top end of my brother is at the one I don't know what my exit number is for it but I know you get off exit one for his house and then if you want to get to my house you have to come all the way down to the other end so that shows you just about how far it is because they haven't done the full loop of the 459 but they're working on it in their minds you know. but all the same so yes I was at the Bessmer one and they had the speedball um, pen set Drawing a letter with storage case. Um, you know, I thought they... Oh, yeah, okay, it's 18. They were established in 1899. I was going to say, I thought they were established before 1999. But all the same, it was $20. It was originally $42. So, I don't know. I thought it was a great deal. It's... Um, now, what I like and what I'm looking for... You know, I didn't even open this yet. I'm just looking at it. You know, sometimes you just get your stuff and look at it. I just had it all beside the bed. I was so exhausted from after I got off work Friday. And then by the time I went to Michael's, because I took the girls to go get something to eat from Chick-fil-A. So then we went to Hobby Lobby's and Michael's. And, oh, I didn't even get Chick-fil-A. I just got a nugget from each one of them and two fries because I wanted to eat some Captain Crunch. But anyway, so, but yeah, so this is a 16-piece set. And for twenty dollars, I think that's pretty good. Some of my, well, most of them, I did get a discount. But it has three pin holders, six broad, six broad edge nibs, six flexible pin points, and one storage case. And I just think it's fantastic. Now, the other parts there, that's just going into the Spanish and, and um, French version. And they got an oblique, which I think will work great for me being left-handed. Then they have the standard, and then that's the uh, a standard quill. Two. but look at there so see some of the cases some of the things that I had like this one that I bought that doesn't have a storage case most of them come with some kind of case this one doesn't it's still speedball it's oblique probably the same one but I didn't care because I probably already bought it but it was five dollars I know I'm a real supporter of the economy so if anybody ever says the economy is not good. I always think that we haulers and couponers and stuff, we get out of discount, but we still help the economy. So, so excited about these. Now I'm going to open up and use them. I kind of wanted to, you know, do this haul experience video. I've been doing this hauling stuff for years. I got plenty of stuff I need to do videos on that I haven't done because I was busy doing other stuff. I mean, I do a lot of stuff. So, I'm finally taking time out of my life, though, to get 
these done okay so now this is something else that i saw the tombow dual brush pens this was on sale for ten dollars and they were originally 20 okay let me just tell you you see if you know i've seen any of my videos you know what got me was that it says for fashion illustration <laughs> and being that that was my major in college and i went and worked at the donna karen company i was like and and it was 50 percent off from 20 to 10 dual brush pens michael exclusive 10 pieces so anyway i'm gonna have some fun with that fun 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 can't wait oh i got a lot of stuff to have fun with now this I got this one because they didn't have the C. My last name is Craig. But it has wedding bells. And you're always going to come across somebody who's getting married. Do I know somebody getting married this year? Oh, yeah. I had a cousin just got married the other week. And then I got a few more going to get married. But you know coronavirus. So she went to the Justice of the Peace and got married the other Tuesday ago before Valentine's Day. Time. Congratulations. So, yeah. So, I do have the waxes. Me and my babies, we tried to do it for my husband's um, birthday last year. It didn't work out as well as I thought. But we tried. And that's all you can do sometimes is try until you perfect it. And we'll work on that. But, do you understand what this is? I'll show you. Just in case somebody out there doesn't. Now, see, all of them, like at my store, which has to see, it still doesn't, um, they're, they're still on regular price. But these were $2, I think, at theirs. So I didn't need wax. But what this is, is you get the wax, you melt the wax. You do, you have the, some people have, the, some case, some containers had a little spoon. You drop the wax on the envelope and it's the seal. So see, if you're a person who's trying to do calligraphy, which is old school writing, because you don't need to do dip pens and fountain pens and all of that. But a person like me who likes the nostalgia of it all and the art of it all would have... <laughs> wax and a stamp seal so that's what that is just in case you didn't know and a lot of places do have them on sale for like two or three dollars but like i said a trustful store doesn't yet but they probably will this week let me show you what else i got now i was shopping so intensely that i bought two of these and didn't realize it i went on and took it back and they did give me a credit at the best my store for it Okay, do you want to know how much this was? 49 cents. Well, you may say, well, that's all it was worth anyway. It's worth more than that, but I got it for 49 cents. So if there's somebody in this area who needs one or wants one, there's one at the Bessemer store for sure. But there's another one at the Trustful store too, because by the time I saw it the third time, I was like, I got this one, don't I? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that one was 49 cents. Okay. I mean, I just like it that I did get a deal. That's what we like it for, right? That's the whole, that's the purpose of a whole. Okay, so yeah, I had two of those. That, that was 98 cents. Then I got this one. It may have been $2, I think. And what little girl, I guess, what grown lady doesn't like mermaid? So I was like, you know, I can get her. And I can paint her with brown skin. This one. You know, I can't remember the price, but I'm going to let you see the receipt, and you can see that either I paid $5 for it, or $3 for it, or $10 for it. Okay. I should be able to do a little better than that. Let me see. Okay. The Mermaid was $3. Like I told you, this one was the one at the bottom. That was 49 cents. Okay, the glue pad, it was actually $2. I was thinking it was $3. Okay. One of these was $5, but I got this one. I'm trying to do, do right by y'all so y'all can see. But I can't tell if it was one or three dollars. I should have worked it out before I got it on video. All the same, what I'm saying to you is I did pay five dollars for one of these. But it wasn't this one. Because this one was ninety nine cents. Yes. 
when I got all of my items rang up, the lady at the cash register said, now that's how you're supposed to shop. But do you see this here? How many different stamps are in here? One. Well, eight pieces. That's what it says at the bottom. So I got this stained glass window, which I kind of like that because I was like, yeah, you know, I like that. <laughs> Butterfly, prayers, hope, faith, blessings. Cross, you know. 99 cents for this big heart. Okay, so I'm going on 15.31 on a time I'm trying to decide, should I continue with the Jane Davenport or should I should I give her a separate video? Since you've been waiting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through really quick. How about that? Because you've been waiting, I'm not going to make you look for another video. Because I would be like, man, she's doing like TV. Making me wait and then don't show it. Let me show you what all I got. Girl, this was fantastic. Okay, I got two of the ink brushes. You know where you do the water and then you paint. Oh, um, look. The mermaid markers. Oh, I wanted these because, yes. Okay, I'll open up in a minute. Let me show you. Okay, I got, I put that in the wrong side because you know, yeah, I opened it up to see. I got this one with the brights and the ones with the neutral, the watercolor sets. The ocean, the cool oceans, um, glitzy sparkle markers. Oh, now you all know that this was about $40. 24 colored pencils, magic wand pencils. Yeah, you all been saying they're five dollars. Yes, I open them <laughs> just in case. But let me show you the back because I'm a person who likes to see the back. And you can visit janedavenport.com, which I have visited, but I still haven't seen the watch palette that she has with the colors. I want that. I'll pay for that full price. Okay. So I got this before I open anything, just in case I run low on time. Okay. Then I got this one, you know, again. 12 watercolor crayons. They were 40. Yep. They got a few more out there if you're in this area. Like I said, they're in the best more location. Then I got this. The lady was marking them down when I walked in. I was so happy that she was marking them down. I mean, Jane Davenport, I really don't want to not give you your money. But I do want to save myself just a little bit. 18 Power Pastels. The Blender Crayon. Let me show you the back. Yep, it talks about it. It lets you know that there are 18 powerful colors. One clear crayon for blending and resist techniques. You know, that's got the waxy type that like the Easter eggs. One gorgeous tint. She probably won't want me comparing it to that, but that's pretty much what it is. Oh, so, you know, old school, you decorate the Easter eggs and then they have the, the little clear one and you put that so that it'll resist some of the color if you want to do different designs. But it's the crayons are the grown-up version of the crayons you, you loved as a child, right? See that? These non-water-soluble crayons combine the best qualities of oil and wax pastels to create vivid flourishes of color used on virtually any surface, but especially as bright statements on mixed media net, um, artwork. So, yeah. Yeah, I opened it. I opened all of them because I wanted to see. All right. So, yeah. I don't want this to become two videos. That's why I'm trying to go through them. So, let me, um, since I've done that, I'm going to try not to wiggle and wobble the camera. My arms are like around the camera right there on a stand. Okay. So, it opens on this side. You know what I love? What I found that I love? Like I said, I didn't look at everything when she first came out. Because it was nice and it was overwhelming and it was a lot. Which usually is not overwhelming for me. But for whatever reason, it was. And I was busy trying to do something else. So, uh, I was trying to be in and out. And I probably had my children in the car or something like that. and So, I wasn't able to really go in and check everything out. But, what I I love a good tin. How about that? I love a good tin. 
And this is a great 10. Now, let's see, these are the colors, 3, 6, 9. So that's going to give you 18, plus you get the clear one here, the wax one. With all wax, but you get that one, you know, for the blending and everything. Isn't that beautiful? I like it that she does the faces. I mean, they look very melancholy, but, you know, I can be very melancholy myself. Okay. These are the aqua pastels. And I had to check because this is where the hinges are. And so, these are the crayons. And, um... Like I said, she was she was marking them. The lady was marking them down. A different lady than the one I had talked to the other day. But she was marking them down. And so I said, give me. <laughs> what was on the top row was this, 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 and this. And I said, give me one of all of them. And these were the last ones. But some of these, they still had one more. Okay. Then, but you know what these are. They they actually did a, um, there's a Michaels, you know how Michaels.com, and they had, video, well not Michaels.com, but Michaels on YouTube have the classes, and you can go back and look at them. So, I was looking at one of the brush lettering classes, and this was used, and that was the first time I ever saw them used. So I was like, I definitely have to get some of those. And... I got another haul that I'll show you later from Hobby Lobby where they had some too. And I know Michael probably don't want me to say their name in their video. But we love them all. We support them all. They're getting all of our money. It's not a fight. I was thinking that there were the pictures, you know, the ones what she does with the the um, ladies. But I think you can go to her site and print them off. I think that's what I saw her say in one of her YouTube videos. But I just want you to see how that looked. But so, hey, that's what I'll do. I'll go to the site. Now, I'm not taking them out of the packaging, these markers, because this works right now. These will come out of the packaging, but this won't. This won't either, just because of the fact that right now I can contain them in a place and have them organized. I just want you to see. You see there's a green. There's this, um, what blue is that? Because that is more royal than this. But they're both kind of like an offset of it. This purple and that silver. But this is the face that they have on them. And see, I like the face. Okay. Let's see. Now these, I open. Like I said, this is the neutral. I open them, but I didn't open them. I didn't open them to the point of playing with them. But here it is. This is how it's going to look. Ta -da. And then let me let you see this one here. And this will be the last thing. And then I'm going to shut it down and get ready for another video. So this one has the blue one. But this is so nice. And I can travel with it. So nice. Look at the colors. Look at the colors. So those are neutrals. And these are, what did she describe them? Bright. Okay. I think I can... Let me see if I can open one up. Well, you see, it has a has it so that you can do a sample to see how they look. Each one came with one. Let me show you the picture. That's the setup. Is how how it's gonna be. So I probably could use those water markers, and that would make it, um, you know easier to clean up especially if you're traveling but the thing is is that i don't want to mess them up right now i open them i know i gotta open them eventually they're just so cool. but it makes it convenient when you want to travel and just for easy cleanup and maintenance during normal time so you know keep the house nice too even though i'm down here nobody ever has come down here occasionally i let people come down because i don't want them to be judgmental although i did used to do um hair down here and i kept it really decent but i'm in the process forever of trying to organize it so that I can get it where I can find everything. And it's working. It's coming along. I'm doing my hauls, and that's part of getting it organized. So, voila. I um, have shopped so much at Michael's and Hobby Lobby that I ran my card up and didn't realize it between January and February. And I hadn't really been getting out because of coronavirus. But when I get out, 
I get out to go to food, go get food, and in January and February, you know, New Year, so I've been getting out to go to doctor's appointments also. And so while I'm out, I'll go and shop. Plus, you know, I'm a shopper, fashionista and all that. So I know when things are going on sale and getting priced out. I used to work retail and stuff in college. So I kind of know, you know, of course, when the seasons change and everything, they're going to get rid of things. I just didn't know how much stuff they got rid of in art and stuff like that. My thing was mostly clothes. But all the same, I had fun. I know I'll see you. You'll see me. We'll have fun together doing the hauls, watching each other hauls. And, well, we all know to subscribe and like and all of that stuff and what it means. But I'll just say, let's just have fun. Have a good day. Happy hauling.